shut the governor down, government down. Senator Josh Hawley joins us now. Senator, now millions of Americans wouldn't get paid and government shut down risk there, but he's willing to shut it down, not for our border, but basically to protect Ukraine's border. What? And, and they almost did, Laura. Yeah, they almost did it. I mean, just last week, that senator you were just showing on the screen, he held the, the, the government funding up right up until the last minute and almost shut our government down because he didn't like the fact there was no Ukraine money in it. I mean, this is a parody. And by the way, we now know because of the leaked documents out of the Biden administration, we now know what's going on in Ukraine. This money is being used to completely overhaul the country. Our money is being spent on reforming their banking system, on their education department, on teaching English in Ukraine. Teaching English. You can't teach English in American schools any longer. And yet we're teaching it in Ukraine and funding it. It's insane. It's yeah. totally insane. I want to show you what the Wall Street Journal reported about this. Basically, the U.S. and other donor nations effectively pay the salaries of 150,000 civil servants in Ukraine and more than a half a million teachers, professors, and school workers, not to mention government expenses ranging from health care to housing subsidies. And on Monday, by the way, the State Department explained why. It is also important for Ukraine's ability to build a long-term economy. They need to have the economy that can kind of that can support um, uh, a security apparatus that can deter future Russian aggression. Okay, so our economy is still suffering from really high inflation, obscenely high gas prices, general despondency, but we got a plan for the future for Ukraine, Senator. Yeah, and rebuild a long-term economy in Ukraine. I mean, I, I don't understand anything that I'm hearing. I thought that the rationale for us spending billions of dollars in Ukraine was military assistance. I thought this was all about stopping the Russians. But now it turns out, oh, no, that's not even the truth. Now it's just we're going to shovel money to their government bureaucrats. It's not bad enough we fund our own DEI, critical race theory, government bureaucrats in America. Now we're funding them in Ukraine. I mean, it's just you cannot make this stuff up, Laura. And this is why the American people have had it with this. This is absurd. And we're not tracking, by the way, any of the money. Congress has repeatedly voted down independent watchdogs who would track the money. We need to get an accounting of every dime that has been spent. And I tell you what, I will not support another penny for Ukraine. Well, Politico is reporting, Senator, that uh, President Biden is very worried about what may happen with Ukraine funding, saying that um, Politico is suggesting that the sensitive but unclassified version of the long term U.S. plan lays out numerous steps Washington is taking to help Kiev root out malfeasance and otherwise reform any array of an array of Ukrainian sectors. It stresses that corruption could cause Western allies to abandon Ukraine's fight against Russia's invasion and that Kiev cannot put off the anti graft effort. Wow, they're, they're, they get that there's a lot of corruption involved in the money that we're sending yeah, over there. They, they know it. They know it, they won't admit it, and they won't track our money. I mean, Laura, this makes the refusal to have an independent watchdog for Ukraine money, it makes it totally inexcusable. How can you say, yeah, they've got major corruption problems, and by the way, we're also funding their education department, but no, no, we don't really want to know how our money is being used. We need an accounting of every single dime. And I tell you what, I don't know what the new rationale is going to be for Ukraine, and we've cycled through so many of them, from stopping the Russians to propping up the Ukrainian government to saving Western Europe to fighting China. Now we're told that Ukraine's all about China. What's it going to be next? I mean, I can't wait to hear, but the Bottom line is, this needs to end.